Hello and welcome to Be Mindful. Thank you for joining me on day five of our seven day meditation practice. If you have missed day four, you can click the top card in the right hand corner or I will link it in the description bar below. Today, join me as we explore appreciation and gratitude and how this can help us to achieve inner happiness. Ask yourself, who or what are you grateful for right now? We spend so much of our lives wanting to be somewhere else or doing something else that we actually miss out on what is going on right now in the present moment. We are so caught up in our thoughts about loved ones, work or maybe our hopes and dreams that we miss out on what is going on right in front of us because our brain is elsewhere. With the practice of mindfulness and meditation, it can over time help to heighten your sense of awareness. When we often think of the word appreciation, more often than not, the kind of things that come to mind naturally might be your health, your home, a car, family or friends. But sometimes the things we are most grateful for can actually be the small things in life. Maybe your first cup of tea or coffee in the morning when you wake up. Your morning shower when you're able to have just a few moments to yourself. Whatever it is, I would like you to take just a few minutes to think about what this is for you. Think about how it makes you feel and why you have chosen this. So, how do you learn to approach life with more appreciation and gratitude? Well, one way to begin with is the thinking mind. So thinking about all the things going well in your life right now. It could be a one-off when somebody has done something nice for you or it could be something that happens on a regular basis. No matter how big or small there are so many different ways that we can find areas of our life that are actually working really well. So try making time each day to create some space for appreciation and gratitude in your life. We will now move into today's meditation practice. As always, make sure that you are comfortable. Sitting in a chair or lying down, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Remembering that if you get lost in thought and the mind starts to wonder, just gently bringing it back. Whenever you are ready, you can gently close down your eyes. So allowing thoughts to come into the mind and allowing them to leave the mind. Just allowing them to come and allowing them to go. Taking time out to pause and allowing ourselves to relax. Let's start by taking a deep breath in and taking a deep breath out. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in through the nose, noticing the lungs expand and as you breathe out, just noticing how the muscles in the body soften. Once more, 
breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. Now allow yourself to breathe naturally. Just taking a few moments out here to appreciate this time. We have nowhere to go and nothing to do. Just taking a few moments for yourself. Noticing any sounds around you and rather than resisting those sounds just allowing the sounds to come and allowing the sounds to go. Using this time to check in with yourself, how does the body feel? Just noticing any stillness or restlessness in the body, just simply observing without judgment. Remembering that it is natural for the mind to wander. So if this has happened, just gently bring your attention back to the breath. Now that we have settled in, ask yourself again the same question as we did earlier. What or who do you appreciate most in your life right now? Notice what comes to mind without any expectation or without any judgment. Just creating some space for appreciation. We're not judging or analysing, just simply becoming aware of it. Allowing the overthinking mind to relax so that you can really feel that feeling of appreciation. Take a moment to notice those moments in life where things are going right, remember no matter how big or small. Remember that meditation is a practice and with that said, in order to see the full benefits, you need to practice on a regular basis. As I explained in one of my previous videos around mindfulness, our brain can be trained, for example, if you visited a gym once and worked out, but never trained again, you would not see any long lasting effects. And the same applies to our meditation practice. Although it is likely you will feel better after meditation, you will need to practice on a regular basis to see any significant changes. And now bringing the attention back into the body and feeling the weight and the contact between yourself and the surface you sit or lie upon. Just noticing any sounds or any movement in the room around you. And whenever you feel ready, you can gently open your eyes. Don't worry if you struggled with today's exercise. Like all meditation exercises, it can take a little bit of time to get familiar with them. As always, take a moment to reflect on your meditation practice, noticing how you feel in the mind and body. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider hitting like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Thank you for listening, take care and stay safe.